Um, Tomcat it can increase, of course, testosterone, DHT, estradiol. That being said, it's probably not a clinically significant increase in PSA. Uh, but the PSA is a segue into our next question, which is, um, is there any information on whether or not Tomcat Ali will affect PSA for routine labs? Yeah, so it certainly has the potential to. Um, Tomcat it can increase, of course, testosterone, DHT, estradiol. That being said, it's probably not a clinically significant increase in PSA. And by that, I mean, you know, let's say your PSA is 3.0 for a 65 year old. If Tomcat increases it to 3.2, that's probably not going to push you over the barrier of things like MRI or no MRI, biopsy or no biopsy, et cetera. Yeah, I would be very surprised if it increased PSA in a younger individual. But if you had, like you said, someone who is 65 perhaps, and they are a hyper responder to Tomcat Ali, they go and you know, double their testosterone levels from something like 200 to 400 nanogram per deciliter, mm -hmm. then I think that could increase PSA slightly if you're looking at some of the potential saturation and the fact that they may have BPH that's really going to mm -hmm. convert a lot of that testosterone into DHT compared to like a 20 year old's prostate. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's plausible, but I don't think, like you said, it's not going to, um, in the hands of a competent you know, provider, I don't think they're going to do anything invasive or overreact to that sort mm -hmm. of blip on the radar. Here's a quick point related to that question. If you are taking dutasteride or finasteride, especially if your doctor or urologist does not know about it, that will precipitously decrease PSA, dose dependent as well. So let's say you have an uh, individual whose PSA is 4.0. They start, uh, let's say they start uh, ProScar, five megs of finasteride a day, maybe partly for their hair. Um, they don't mention it to their urologist and they come back and their PSA goes from 5.0 to 5.2. That is a huge red flag for prostate cancer because that likely, um, you would expect a PSA to go from 4.0 to 2.0. So if that individual had not started finasteride, it could have been 8.0. And if they could miss that diagnosis by an entire year. So that's something very important to remember. Yeah, talking about the PSA velocity and it's, that's why it's important to, you know, present as best as you can what medications you're taking, what supplements you're taking, giving as much data as possible, because you never know when something that you think, oh, well, this is insignificant, I'm just taking this for my hair, um, could actually have a clinically important uh, use just for having the provider with that data. So I have to tell my doctor what I get from my telemedicine clinic. It would seem so. Ah, bummer.